Hello everyone. Welcome to this learning session on creation of custom catalog, space, page and role. We are going to consider a scenario where there is a requirement to creation of sales manager role with the apps sales management overview and track sales order. Whenever we receive such requirement, we should uh, we should check for the app IDs and then look for the corresponding technical catalog in the SAP Fury Fury apps reference library. I have already noted down the technical catalog details from the SAP Fury apps library. The two apps which are which we are going to consider are sales management overview and track sales order. Once you go to the implementation information, you can check for the technical catalog details. Also for the track sales order, I have I have ensured that uh, this app is available for the current version which I'm trying to demonstrate an example. So uh, again, uh, if I go to the implementation information, I see the detail for the technical catalog. I've already noted down for the demo purpose. So in order to uh, demonstrate this, uh, we will have to first create a catalog. Then we would be creating a corresponding role, activating the OData services, and then we would be creating space, speech, and then we would see how this apps appear when it is assigned to a test user. We are going to create a custom catalog through a Fury Launchpad a Content Manager. And I've already decided the naming convention. You can uh, create as per your uh, naming standard. So first thing I'm going to create is catalog. I'll just click on create. I have named this as per this uh, scenario, custom sales manager catalog. Once we have the custom catalog ID created, our next uh, goal is to add the tiles and target mapping to it. We are going to add the tiles, which are sales management overview and track sales order. For both these tiles, I have already uh, taken uh, the uh, technical catalog details. So I'll just copy this. And uh, once I have entered the technical catalog, I'll, I'll get to see a list of complete apps, which are uh, Fury apps, UI5 apps, or uh, uh, GUI based apps, which are mapped to this Fury ID. I can straight away look for the apps which I'm looking for. In a similar way, I will add the other tile to it. You can select on the SAP Fury ID, look for the particular app which you are looking for. So we now have both this, both these tiles mapped to this Fury, uh, this catalog ID. Our next goal is to create a role uh, based upon this catalog. I'll just copy the naming convention which I have de uh, decided for this demo purpose. So I'll just pick this up. Now, once you have entered the role name as well as the description, you can uh, 
in the menu in the menu part you can navigate to transaction and SAP Fiori launchpad and then launchpad catalog you can enter the a name of the catalog ID which you have just created you can see the catalog ID has been added to this role you can then go to the authorization tab and go to the change authorization data to maintain the authorization uh, related ob objects and, and the org level field values since this is a demo scenario I am just going to maintain star values uh, please note that uh, these values in actual project scenarios are maintained as per the org levels also if you see at the object level uh, we have unmaintained or uh, values missing so uh, for the demo purpose I am just going to maintain star values for the all uh, values which are missing okay so now we have the uh, this role uh, created once we have the role created our next a task would be to activation of the uh, activation of the old data services we should always ensure that the, the old data services which are which are going to be pulled through these apps are activated in the system we are going to do this via the STC 01 task list activation activation and uh, we would select the uh, task list as SAP Fiori FCM content activation which is for the custom role It gives you an option to select the role so uh, we'll, we'll try to uh, enter the role details what uh, for for the one which we have just created As you can see, uh, it shows one role selected out of uh, all the custom roles available in the system. And uh, we do not need uh, that transport option, so I'll just unselect this. I just need to ensure that the old data services are activated, so I'll just execute this step. Once the old data service activation uh, has been completed, our next ta task is to create a space and create a page with uh, with a section and the tiles map to it. So I'm just going to create a space. To create a space, uh, I'll have to log into the Fury Launchpad, uh, which allows me to create the custom space and pages. I will, I will navigate to the tile manage launchpad spaces click on create as we are going to create a custom one so we'll get the space ID which we have already uh, decided Since it allows to create a page uh, and we are going to just create one page I will select this option and enter the page details as well We can select the custom trans uh, TR which we are using for this uh, to capture all our changes.
you can see that uh, the space zsp underscore sales manager has been created and it has been mapped to a page the first thing should be we should be doing that uh, we should set it uh, make it as set visible so that it is no more hidden just save the changes now we'll go to the pages and add and add our tiles to it we are going to create a, a section a named as overview and uh, we are going to uh, get the tiles from the catalog which we have created so the catalog we have created is zc underscore sales manager As you can see that the two apps, Sales Management Overview and Track Sales Order are already uh, available now to for the addition to our page. So our overview page has been created. And you, you also have an option to check for the page preview. So this is how uh, uh, we are going to see uh, this uh, when we assign it to a test user uh, and we'll see this uh, now. Once we have created a, sp a space and uh, mapped a page to it, our next uh, uh, step would be to updating our role with the space details so that uh, the it provides the authorization uh, for the user uh, for the uh, corresponding space and page. So we'll just go to this role and just uh, select it and uh, add our uh, space to it. To our Fury demo user, we are going to the assign this role. We will now log on to the demo user to, uh, to see if our changes have actually reflected. Since we are using the spaces concept, we should ensure that uh, the settings for this space has been enabled. And uh, here you can see that uh, the our main uh, role, uh, agenda for creation, uh, creation of sales manager role with a page which has uh, a section overview and this two uh, particular apps has been achieved. Thank you for watching this video.